Oh, looky, Pauline. Who do we see at the National Press Club? The National Press Club, Pauline. Who would allow her to stand up and speak before the National Press Club and speak actual acts of treason before all of them, Pauline? And you think you're all going to get away with this? You honestly think you're going to get away with it? Look at Lydia committing an act of treason as an Australian citizen, Pauline, as an actual Australian citizen, who, who half a mob takes Centrelink handouts, Pauline. Uh, you're looking at a, a population where at least 50% of them are on the Centrelink handouts and the other 50% of them took corporations where the elders ripped them off and they want to blame white people for their elders ripping them off in the corporations that they all created. And, and here you've got Lydia again, on a national press club, talking a bunch of treason about how the crown doesn't belong here. Well, Lydia, I'm the crown. I had sons here on this land. They belong here. And you, you ain't going to tell me and my crown and my sons whether I belong here or not. That's an act of war. And you're obviously walking your minority population into a conundrum on behalf of WEF masters who think they're just going to use you to undermine the constitution and manipulate the people. But I'm telling you very straight right now from the imperial crown, our imperial rights so defined on the court record, the Supreme Court of New South Wales court record, Lydia, this already exists. The crown exists here on this land, Lydia. It has a right to exist here on this land. You aren't going to push us all out of our homes, Lydia. There's an impossibility. You're talking to a majority population that live under the crown and enjoy the pleasure of the crown, Lydia. And if you don't like that, why don't you just pack up and go away? I mean, why would you even bother with the Senate if you believe that this is all a lie? Well, why would you even bother joining this power if you believe that it's all a lie? And it would just demonstrate your modus operandi right from the word go in that you joined this power and manipulated the Senate so that you could directly commit an act of treason against our constitution, Lydia, our white Australia constitution, Lydia, that we hold in our hands that this foreign occupying government can't take away from us, Lydia. It's an indissoluble federal commonwealth, right? Indissoluble handed to us by our forefathers in our Anzac. Those Anzac that actually defended this land so that you could be free tribal peoples on this land next to us, Lydia. It wasn't until 1967 that this foreign occupying power came here and manipulated native title and manipulated the land around us. So you think you've got a, a sad problem by believing that the majority population around you are just going to pick up and leave. No, 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 Lydia, they're, they're the crown. And if you think we're going to put up with you as a minority population of this land, naming all of our stuff with Aboriginal names, you're sadly mistaken. We see Ayers Rock. We see Mount Warning. We see all these things in our language that were set down in our time, in our constitution. And we see you, we see you joining our constitution in 1967, Lydia. You joining our constitution. You have one option here. Quit. Go away. Don't be party to the constitution. Go away and be those sovereign people and just do it off your own bat. You can't. You won't. You expect all the handouts to be able to do it, even though we're the occupied people in this land and we have a foreign crown on our soil manipulating our wealth. And you think you can use that foreign crown to manipulate wealth out of us that we don't have? That's fucking hilarious, Lydia. Totally fucking hilarious. You think you can manipulate a wealth out of us and we'll stand up to our constitution and these war criminals that maintain it at the moment. And this is where you have a very big failure, Lydia, a very, very big failure. You sided with war criminals, Lydia. This made you side with an enemy at law, Lydia, a real technical war crime enemy that can be put before the international criminal courts of justice, Lydia as well as the Supreme Court and High Court. You thought this was all going to go away. You thought you could just use Albo, and Albo thought he could just use you, and the Greens played this little game, and you tried to manipulate the Constitution, and you tried to manipulate your way into our Parliament from a Communist position, and you didn't realise that God had already put his hand down on the table and said that this is God's estate, and you're screwing with God's estate. And, and Lydia can play, oh, the crown doesn't belong here. Yeah, it does, Lydia. We're here. 
we're, we're, we're millions of people and you ain't going to do anything about it. And that's the real clarity of the position. Because you think you're going to get your United Nations war criminal buddies to help you to do something about it. There'll be a civil war on this land and your people aren't going to fare too well in that civil war. This is a problem that you're seeding that we never wanted because we wanted to help you return to that sovereignty and you're correcting that native title is a lie and it's a con, but you've got to look at the crown that gave it to you. You've got to look at the crown that occupied this land. You've got to look at the white people that stood next to you. You've got to look at those Anzac. You've got to look at our right to be on this land like you have a right to be on this land. It's not your fucking land, Lydia. It's not your fucking land, Lydia. This is a Commonwealth of Australia, Lydia, and you became citizens of that Commonwealth of Australia, Lydia. You did that by your own volition, Lydia. You did that by choice Lydia and then second to that you took corporations and in those corporations you took uh, trusts and then you took handouts from the government Lydia you, you took actual handouts from the government Lydia this kind of solidified your failure to become sovereign as a people this kind of solidified you think these are reparations no you're stealing off us you're stealing off to white australia and you're doing it with the hand of a foreign occupying power that's manipulated this constitution and caused this problem on you as a people in the first place lydia and if you think that as white australia we're going away if you think this is imperial crown in any way shape or form is going away if you think these people that own homes all across this land are going and give that up for some sort of cultural bullshit that you want to bring on you're sadly sadly mistaken there's a, a new crown in town sealed on the courtroom record Lydia defining all of this as being real in law real in law Lydia not not your delusional scam that you seem to push on everybody while you try and manipulate the United Nations to your bidding no 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 Lydia this is a reality in international law that we as naked owners recognize these administrators to be war criminals and we also recognize that they manipulated you and and you sided with these war criminals and you really have a choice Lydia are you going to side with war criminals that are going to eventually end up before the courts and, and we're talking about Nuremberg offense here Lydia we're, we're talking about some really heavy shit that you probably never even thought would be even happening in your country Lydia and you play a stupid sovereignty game for a minority population trying to divide the rest of us well you haven't divided the rest of us you've actually united the rest of us in a federal red ensign and that's starting to grow Lydia you start to realize this now you see that a very big problem in this country is a minority population they're at threat of being bashed in pubs and at threat of being murdered and buried in the desert by farmers Lydia you're creating a situation like white South Africa that, that's the situation you want on your own land without even thinking that you're a minority population that can't cope with what this elbow government's bringing upon all of us. I make that very starkly, Lydia. You're making a clown show against a, a foreign occupying crown that is manipulating you, Lydia. Manipulating you. Seeding this country into a civil war like South Africa. The only problem is here, Lydia, is that your people don't have a fucking chance. Literally do not have a fucking chance. And that's something you need to comprehend while you play this long-term stupid game, thinking that you have power from United Nations and with partners that are actual war criminals in international law, Lydia. And they've been caught the fuck out. Why do you think they're squirming so hard? Why do you think you're acting like a child? Why do you think you're speaking some of the most stupidest stuff before the National Press Club when we've got a legal position, Lydia? We'll just see you before the courts, Lydia. And, and if you've been found guilty of treason to the very oath that you took, Lydia, you took dressed like a white woman in a white person's parliament, Lydia, you did that. You very much did that. And that is an act of treason. And so be it if you get caught up in that act of treason and be found guilty by justices of this land that run those courts that you say don't have authority here. Well, they seem to clearly have authority here when they run your corporations for you, don't they, Lydia? The irony must stop, Lydia. The stupidity must stop. We don't fall for you stupid anymore, Lydia. We don't fall for this rhetoric anymore, Lydia. We see the reality on the table in that a constitution exists and you're citizens of what? Australia, right? So who are you? 
Have you worked all of this out in this international game, Lydia? In this international game where you failed, very, 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 very clearly failed as a tribe to stand in international law? I won't put you to that challenge, Lydia. Let's define your foundations with your dream time, Lydia. Show the world. Show the world that you are a nation in any way, shape or form. Show the world how you can do your dream time and join the realms of gods. Show the world how you can put down time and space and lay down your own realm. Show the world. Because I did. Put it on court record, Lydia. Put it on the Supreme Court record, Lydia. Giving Supreme Court justices all over this country a line of authority to an imperial crown is actually occupied by foreign administrating power. You don't understand the power that it is to give a judiciary a power that they lost, Lydia. You don't understand what it means to give the judiciary a power that they haven't seen since 1967, Lydia. Probably 1954, Lydia. And the judiciary are looking at the Constitution and the line of authority that exists in the Constitution. And that's not where you are playing with your foreign powers, is it, Lydia? So you got a real legal problem on your hands in who you took oath to, Lydia. Doesn't belong here on this soil. We do. The Australian Imperial Crown has stood up and defined ourselves on the Supreme Court record, giving all those justices across this land, all those courtrooms across this land, line of authority to exist on this land, Lydia. Line of authority to exist on this land. Full, proper, white Australia line of authority to that constitution right to exist on this land, Lydia. Existed on this land now 123 years. Not going backwards, not going anywhere, not moving these people out of their homes, not, not changing their allegiance, not making them Aboriginal, Lydia. It's just an impossibility. And you fail to be Aboriginal yourself, like hanging out with bikies and dressing like a slut instead of dressing like an Aboriginal woman like uh, Jacinta does with grace and, and regal status in a parliament where she speaks from the heart. Whereas what do you speak from, Lydia? You speak from someone else's uh, ideologies. That's where you speak from, Lydia. Someone else's ideologies because you're unable to stand in your tribe and define that tribe in international law like we defined the imperial crown in international law, Lydia. In international law, on the Supreme Court record, Lydia. Haven't seen any of your mobs do that, Lydia. Just a, it's just a clown show farce where the entire country's now starting to realise we don't want you welcome to country. This is our country. Well, you go back to your country, right? Your country is somewhere in the bush, somewhere down in Western Victoria. When we, 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 when we visit Western Victoria, we, we might say hi to Lydia's country. But when we go to Melbourne, that's our country. And, and when we go to Sydney, that's our country. And when we go to Brisbane, that's our country. You know, you see the difference here, Lydia? You can't call it all yours when we've been here 123 years, established all these lots of land, and we're watching this occupying, administrating power fuck up all our shit, Lydia. Fuck up all our shit, Lydia. And, and you think we've had enough of it? Of course all these Australians have had enough of it, Lydia. But they've also had enough of watching you commit treason in a parliament and play games with foreign powers under foreign curial crowns. This is a reality of it, Lydia. You did that. You joined a power to commit treason against that power, and that power has every right in the world to slap you left and right. But, at the same time, you undermined my constitution, Lydia. You had the direct intention to undermine my constitution, Lydia. That of the imperial crown and the people of this land, Lydia. You sought to do that. That's an act of treason against the constitution, and my crown's pissed off now. Totally pissed off that you would stand there in the press club and allow this to occur, Lydia. You're a disgrace. Total absolute disgrace to this country. And uh, the way you are, unlike Jacinta, Jacinta, you seem to show some grace and I totally respect that and would love to help you and your people out if that's the kind of grace that you would deserve. But look at Lydia. She's done the exact opposite. She's tried to undermine and weasel her way in and acted like a child and disgraced herself. Totally disgraced herself. The entire world looks at her like a clown. There's a clown show everywhere she goes, a clown show she drags around with her. It's called a circus, Jacinta, and, and you're not a circus. Look at the regal status that you are wearing traditional gear in the parliament with the full respect of the parliament. That, that, that shows something about your people being respected and having a voice in the parliament.
doesn't it, Jacinta? This is a kind, kind of clown show that is run by communists and Albo, and we kind of now get to this point where, Liga, you, you got so caught out at your game, I'd be scrambling to the post because this is where we come to. Are you going to face a courtroom? Is the AFP finally going to actually arrest you for all the crimes that have been laid out on the table? presenting yourself as an Australian citizen and a senator and under oath to a crown. The AFP's got to act at some point, and I think you're fearful they might actually do that, given you worked with the Greens and Adam Bant to be able to manipulate the parliament in the first place. There's a, there's a conspiracy going on in this parliament, and the people can clearly see it. The people can clearly see that you're kind of responsible for part of it, Lydia, and the people have had enough. You've disgraced yourself, totally disgraced yourself when you could have acted like Jacinta and everybody would have been sympathetic to a real voice. But you're a fake Aboriginal, aren't you, Lydia? You're a fake Aboriginal, like they've been pointing out all over Sky News. Fake Aboriginal, aren't you, Lydia? Totally fake Aboriginal. You don't even look like an Aboriginal. You don't even look like you have Aboriginal family, Lydia. Totally fake Aboriginal. Totally fake Aboriginal. Whereas Jacinta, she produced her garb. She said, I, I'm part of this Yindanu tribe and, and I can demonstrate that I'm part of this tribe. I, I wear these things that demonstrate I'm part of this tribe. I, I don't wear these Nidoc weak shirts and these slutty things that I wear to act like a hoe in the parliament while I fist bump the king. Lydia, you embarrassed yourself so hard in front of the entire world that your race of people have been embarrassed by you. By you, Lydia by you uh, and this is what you fully can't comprehend while you act like a bunch of whining children that have totally lost any cultural anything they had before while they try and flex it on the rest of australia that haven't lost their culture we're the anzac lydia we didn't lose our culture lest we forget right we didn't forget it's our land we fought for it we died for it. Tens of thousands of men went across the world and died for this land, Lydia. And you ain't taken it from us. This is our land, Lydia. You want to live by us, next to us, or join us in our constitution? Your choice, Lydia. But we ain't letting you go to war against us because we'll just knock you flat. Totally knock you flat. And Albo, if you think your voice thing's going to work, look at all the things that you've been caught out at doing, you cretin. You know better than, Albo, uh, than Scummo. You know better than that cretin and the robo debt machine, aren't you? This is what your criminal war machine's doing on our land, isn't it, Albo? And you've been caught out doing it finally. Finally caught out at your war crimes, Albo. Finally caught out at undermining the constitution from the office of Prime Minister. And you didn't think that a subject to the Crown would pull you up and say to you, why are you committing crimes from inside the office of Prime Minister? You thought that you could just get away with it, didn't you? You just thought, I'll plot along and Australians won't notice. They won't speak up. Oh, I'm the king here. No, you're not, Albo. Something else happened in the Supreme Court in New South Wales, and you're doing something that became a war crime, and we're totally fully aware of it now. And Lydia, you did something that was treason, and you helped Albo undermine a constitution from inside the Prime Minister's office, and now no longer a treaty, now no longer reparations, Lydia. This is actual war crime, and this is you committing criminal offences against the Constitution while under oath, Lydia. While under oath, Lydia. While under oath, Lydia. And we can't repeat this enough, Lydia. You walked yourself into a shitstorm, and I don't think the United Nations is going to help you when we lay down the actual curia right that we've defined and ask you to lay down yours very specifically before this international community. I mean very specifically, Lydia, because we're going to embarrass the fuck out of you if you can't, you fake Aboriginal. Fake Aboriginal, right? Fake Aboriginal that's a citizen of Australia that's about to be put before the court for the treason that she's committed while under oath. While under oath. Pauline, this is a reality that's coming for all of you. And, and this is not turning around now. You can speak, hear me speaking very liberally about the crimes that you commit on a daily basis. And if you think from this curial position, we can't see it, you're sadly mistaken. To all of Australia, these people got caught out. All you need to do now is stand as fathers and sons all across this land. Know that you're the Australian Imperial Crown. Know that you are to raise that federal red ensign and an Australian Imperial Forces flag 
where your fathers and sons died across battlefields across the world under that flag. Tens of thousands have been defended that flag, not the blue ensign that this government flies. This government brought its blue ensign here and put a seven-pointed star on it. Yours doesn't have a seven-pointed star on it. These are administrating powers that are here. All you need to do is go home and be the fathers and sons of your town and get together with all the other fathers and sons in your town and you have one-up power on the moneylender in your temple being the town itself. You can start to address why your council is taking money from foreign interests all the time, why your town always needs to have investments from money makers all the time, why it's unable to keep wealth in your town and why it hires people from outside of your town full stop. It's a very big question when you address your town, is why is the CEO not from your town? It is more likely the case, given that these people are running businesses instead of towns for the people. Right? This is a real thing, everybody, and, and I'd like you to look at it. I'd like you to follow this up a little bit further, because it's a future of your own children. It's a future of their safety and security with land and finance and trade and food and all the rest of it. This is a national security issue. This is a very big issue, and it's only you as fathers and sons gathering together in your towns like you used to be when you were riflemen and scouts to be able to stand up to what's inside your council and make it stop borrowing money from outside powers.